In this video, we're going to look at uh, roller coaster and talk about some of the things we've been discussing in this chapter. So we're going to talk about T, N, and B vectors, uh, curvature, torsion, position, velocity, acceleration vectors, and all of their relationships at different points on the roller coaster. So we're going to use this roller coaster. It's the Patriot at Worlds of Fun in Kansas City. And uh, I like to use this roller coaster for this example because as you can see from this view, it's, it flips upside down. Uh, it's got some twists on the track. It's got straight parts of the track. And so there's a lot going on, a lot of interesting places to look. Okay, so we're gonna look at a video of the roller coaster and I'm gonna just push play and let it start just a little bit. And then we'll pause it and talk about the vectors just so we can get oriented here at the very beginning. You can see in the background though that their roller coaster has lots of twists and loops and so lots of more interesting places to talk about our vectors. Um, so right here at the very beginning, I'm gonna just draw a little side view of the roller coaster or a top view actually of what we're doing. So at the very beginning here, we're just going around a curve. And so there's a little kind of top view of the part of the path we would be going along. Um, and I'll just draw some vector estimates here. I'll draw them on the track and then over here on the top view as well. So as we move along this curve, we've got a unit tangent vector that would be tangent to the curve and in our direction of motion. And then we're gonna have an n vector that's one unit long on the concave side of the curve and perpendicular to our unit tangent vector. And we can use right hand rule to think about the b vector uh, the B vector would be pointing straight out toward us. So it's a little bit difficult to draw here, but um, like we have to do sometimes when we think about drawing things from the top, I'll just draw that and label that. That's coming out straight out toward us. And as we move along that curve, uh, you can think about that that unit tangent vector is gonna change a little bit. So we're gonna have some curvature that will be positive as we change. Remember, curvature describes how that unit tangent vector changes. Uh, the n vector will curve around as well. So at different points on the curve, we'll have the n vector staying on the concave side of that curve. But the b vector will not change. So as we move around that part of the curve, that b vector is gonna just keep pointing straight up toward us. So dbds would be zero. So on this part of the curve, we have torsion that is zero. We have no twist. We have some bend to our path, but we have no lateral roll at this point on our motion. Okay, we're gonna let the video go some more. And we're gonna go along the hill part, going up the beginning of the roller coaster here. This is kind of the boring part of the ride, uh, but I wanna just talk again about the vector, so I'll pause it. And we're gonna talk about our vectors at this point. So I'm gonna, like I did before, make a little side view. Of us going up that hill. Our unit tangent vector would be tangent to our path. So one unit long and in the direction of motion. And as we move up this hill, so if I draw it on the roller coaster, it's gonna be pointing straight along our sight line as we look up that roller coaster. Uh, as we move up that hill, that unit tangent vector is gonna be pointing in the same direction. And remember, it's a unit vector, so still one unit long. So as we move up that hill, that unit tangent vector does not change. So remember that curvature describes how the unit tangent vector changes. So at this point, uh, our curvature is zero. Also, because the unit tangent vector does not change, if you recall the definition of the unit normal vector as rate of change of unit tangent vector divided by that magnitude, uh, since uh, the unit tangent vector does not change, our n vector is actually undefined. And since the n vector is undefined, then the b vector will also be undefined and our torsion would also be undefined here. All right, so let's let it move a little bit more. So at this point, we still have the same situation with our T, N, and B vectors. Uh, you can see that as we get to the top of the hill, we're gonna start to have a little bend to our path. So we'll pause it when we get up there 
and think about how those vectors will begin to change as we go over the top of this hill and as we go over, we're also gonna start to have a little bit of lateral roll. So as you can see, as we come over this hill, you can notice that over here, over here, the curve starts to twist a little bit and you can see that the car will rotate out a little bit as we come around there. So I wanna think about not only where we're at right now from our point of view, but where we're gonna go. All right, so as we come around that curve, our unit tangent vector, vector is gonna be in our line of sight. So tangent to our direction of motion. So at this point up here, uh, like that, as we come around this curve, it will be more like that. And as we rotate it around here, uh, unit tangent vector about like that. The unit normal vector will be per perpendicular to the unit tangent vector and on the concave side of the curve. So as we rotate it around here, your unit normal vector will be like that. And as you rotate it around here, so you're making that bend back this way, your unit normal vector will be pointing almost straight toward us. Uh, you can use right hand rule to think about where the B vector would be. So T cross N. So at this point right here, uh, T cross N, when you think about that B vector, that's gonna be pointing almost straight toward you. And then as you come around here, again, T cross N, your B vector will be pointing downward. Uh, so perpendicular to both of those vectors and pointing downward. As you come around there, uh, thinking about how those T, N, and B vectors change, uh, that B vector, as we've gone from this first point to this second point, has rotated outward. Uh, the N vector has also rotated downward. So the T, B, and N vectors are both rotating. Um, since B is rotating away from that N vector, uh, at this point here, your DBDS and the N vector are going to form an obtuse angle. So DBDS dot N will be negative. And then remember that torsion puts a minus sign in front of that, so that'll change the sign on that. So at this point here that I have circled, our torsion actually will be positive because our dot product is negative and then the formula for torsion is dbds dot n with a minus sign in front. So at that point right there, our torsion is positive. We're starting to get to see that lateral roll in the movement as we're going around here. Uh, we also have curvature, we have bend to our motion here. Remember that's how the T vector is changing. So we do also have some curvature that is not zero at that point. As we come over that hill and we start to pick up speed as we go into the fun part of the roller coaster here, you can also think a little bit about what your acceleration vector is doing. So you're speeding up and you're also changing direction. And remember that your acceleration vector, you've got the tangential component of acceleration, which describes your change in speed. Uh, and so how your acceleration vector lines up with your unit tangent vector. There's your unit tangent vector. So how your acceleration vector lines up with that. And then the normal component of acceleration describes to how that, how your acceleration vector changes direction. So at this point here, our acceleration vector is gonna form an acute angle with both T and N. Some of that acceleration vector is contributing to change in speed. Uh, I do have a tangential component of acceleration that is positive because I'm speeding up as I come around there. I also have a normal component of acceleration that is positive, not zero, because I am not only speeding up as I come around that curve, but I am also changing direction. So as I come around that curve, I am changing direction and speeding up. So my acceleration vector forms an acute angle with both T and N as I come around that curve. Okay, we're gonna let the roller coaster go a little bit more here. All right, as we come around here, we've got a lot of lateral roll, so a lot of torsion. Here, not so much lateral roll, but a lot of curvature. And then we get into these barrel rolls. 
Um, so on this part of the roller coaster, you're making a lot of lateral roll, um, but there's not a lot of bend to the actual curve here. So when you think about the vectors that you have here, again, your unit tangent vector is gonna be in that direction of motion, tangent to the curve. Your end vector is on the concave side of the curve. And so as you make this rotation around here, you wanna think about where that concave side is. Your end vector here is gonna be pointing, if you think about from the side, how that curve would look uh, as it comes around there. You're gonna be curved just a little bit that way as you're rotating around and rotating. So your end vector's on that concave side of the curve. T cross N gives you your B vector. Uh, so you can use right hand rule to think about that. That's gonna be coming out almost straight toward you. Um, all right, so as you rotate around there again, thinking about how your B vector changes, all of those vectors change, the T, N, and B vectors change. So you've got a little bit of curvature here as we make those rotations around this very tight curve, the T vector does not actually change a lot. So you have curvature that is positive, um, but not as big as it was when we had a lot of bend as we were going around those loops upside down. Uh, so the curvature is positive, but close to zero at this point. Um, but we've got a lot of torsion here as we go around this curve. So the tor torsion is not close at all, uh, close to zero at all. As we rotate around here, we can think about whether we would have positive or negative torsion again by thinking about how the N and B vectors rotate as we move along this part of the curve here. So the N vector would rotate this way, the B vector would rotate that way. So again, DBDS describes how B changes it would be pointing away from N, so that forms a negative dot product. And so the sign change in front of that torsion formula would tell you that at that point, our torsion is positive, positive and large at that point. Um, all right, so let's let this rotate. Let's let this roller coaster go a little bit more. A lot of torsion here, little torsion and a lot of curvature. A little bit of torsion. A lot of curvature, a little bit of torsion, a lot of bend, a lot of bend. Here's a little bit more twist. Here's some curvature and torsion, a lot of curvature. More torsion as I flip around, rotate around, lateral roll. Here, as we get near the end of the roller coaster, we're slowing down. So we're almost at the end of the roller coaster here, and we're slowing down, and we're going along an almost straight part of the curve here. So I wanna talk about our acceleration vector at this point. Our tangent vector would be in the direction of motion, in the direction of our motion, um, but our acceleration vector is gonna be pointing nearly almost exactly opposite our direction of motion. Our acceleration vector, we're slowing down a lot right here, so our tangential component of acceleration will be negative. Remember that the tangential component of acceleration describes change in speed. When our tangential component of acceleration is negative, that indicates that we are slowing down. And in fact, right here, we're slowing down a lot. All right. Uh, if our T vector is not changing very much, if we're along a pretty straight part of the curve here, we might have an N vector that's undefined. If it's nearly straight, but not exactly straight, then we would have an N vector. Uh, it's hard to tell just from looking at the picture how straight that is. Uh, but you can tell for sure here at the very end that your acceleration vector is almost completely in the direction of T. You're not changing direction very much, but you're changing speed a lot. So your acceleration vector almost completely in the direction of T, but in the opposite direction, that tangential component of acceleration being negative there. All right, so I hope the next time you ride a roller coaster, you think about all these vectors and the curvature and the torsion and everything else there. It just makes it a lot more fun.